Hello, thanks for dropping by for my clean with me. Actually, this video was recorded back in November 2019. Why I didn't post then? I don't know. Why am I posting now? I need a start. I need to start doing. Especially now. There's a lot that has changed and there's a lot that hasn't. And you will see that at the end of this video. But with us homeschooling again, something's got to change. I've got to I got to make sure I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Keeping the chaos in homeschooling does not work at all. It's time to get my life together, our home together once and for all. So now, here's a real chatty clean with me. Hello Autumn. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Beauty plus chaos equals harmony. I'm Jamila, a mom of three boys, and we have dad who works from home. Chaos is what I thought was just a part of my life. I mean, imagine we homeschooled three boys, which just changed two weeks ago in it's like a huge difference, but I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, chaos to me was just how life was going to be. I mean, three boys and dad in the house almost all day? What more could I expect? I mean, break time they play with toys. When it's not break time they're playing with toys. Dad's working. Papers are everywhere. You know, I'm cooking, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, constant. It's just constant movement, constant things going on in our home. I mean, I even had a sign at one point that was saying something like, uh, you call it chaos, we call it family. I just accepted chaos as a part of our life. But for me, as I have begun to seek more balance, more harmony, uh, more peace, possibly, in my life, it's not working. I mean, something is off. And I know it has to be the clutter and the chaos that surrounds us. Everywhere I turn, there is something. You know, I read that physical clutter, disorganization, it affects our mind. And I, I totally understand that. No matter how minimal or how simplified we make our home, there's clutter and there's chaos. So I have vowed to control the chaos. I know I cannot make it completely go away, but we can get some sense of control. And in doing so, what does that mean? I do what everyone else does, you know, go to the internet, start my research. And of course, the most popular method of tidying, decluttering, uh, was the KonMari method. And I found it to sound really good, but, you know, at the time, thinking, I'm homeschooling. I don't really have time to just stop and say, let's tackle all the clothes, take care of it all in one swoop. That just didn't really appeal to me at the time. So I continued to look, and I found the fly lady method. And that sounded like something that would work. I mean, 31 baby steps. I said, okay, maybe in between breaks from teaching, um, in the evening when they go to their practices, I could take or tackle little tasks here and there. So the first week I tried the fly lady method. It was amazing just to see a clean sink, shining sink every morning felt great. But it was slow. 
And I was like, you know what? Maybe I have more time than I thought. So I went back to the KonMari method and thought about it and said, Fly Lady, KonMari, could I merge them? Could I bring the two together? So that would be Fly Lady plus KonMari equals Fly Mari. And that's what I've decided to do. See, back in the spring, our family did a major discard. We thought we were on the move again. So really, our home is pretty much minimal. And at the same time, with our home being pretty much minimal, we have lost a lot of furniture things, like storage or storage containers, um, a lot of the things that we took to the thrift stores, we put them in our storage containers and gave them the whole thing. So we don't have much storage. We live in a townhome. The only storage we have is in our closets, for our wardrobe, for our clothes, and a little bit of space in our laundry closet. So I'm in a dilemma where it's like, I don't want to buy, I don't want to purchase. You know, as I said, I am going for a minimal aesthetic. So what do I do? We still have stuff. We don't have a place for stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how I can be creative with the stuff and combine these two methods to bring that peace, that harmony, that balance, the tidiness to our home. Which brings me to this point. I'm creating a series of decluttering. Um, I'm going to be creating a plan to combine these two methods, my Fly Mari method, and get my home in order. Just get everything together. I've looked around the home and I figured out that for me, I believe starting in our laundry room, in the living room, would be a good place to start. It's not so much clutter and not so much chaos in those areas. My biggest problem is my pantry, my kitchen, my bedroom, and of course the kids' room, which sort of doesn't count because it's mostly toys everywhere, which is not mommy's problem, but it is mommy's problem. Anyway, see, it's a time where seasons are changing, life is changing, leaves are changing, it's fall, autumn, a time of year that I love the most. But I haven't really been able to sit back and enjoy because when I look around, I see the clutter. For the next two months or so, I am going to share with you how I will declutter, discard, um, design, DIY my home to create an environment that brings me joy. I hope that you come back and join me and see what I'm up to. Um, I will probably post once a week in the beginning, looking forward to doing twice a week, just getting used to filming and editing. It's a lot of work, but it's right on time because we just sent the kids back to school. And I'll tell you more about that in another video. Um, we did homeschool, just so you know, for about two years. And this year we decided to send them back. But I will explain all of that for another video. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the rest of my cleaning. It's not much left. Um, I plan to upload our fall decor, our fall home tour next, and thereafter will be the series for decluttering my home, decluttering my life. Not sure what I'm going to title it yet. Hopefully I'll come up with something cute and creative. Look at that. My home. Okay. He stop. wants to be a YouTube star. I told him I would help him as soon as I figure out how to do it for myself. Look, look at him. There it is, the look. Boy, if you don't move. But if this sounds like something you're into or something that you like to sit back and watch, 
because I know I love these cleaning videos. Why? I don't know. Why do we, we sit back and watch cleaning videos? Hey, that's a question. In the comments, tell me, why do you like to watch cleaning videos? I'm curious. I'd like to know. I know why I like to do it. Can you tell me why you are into those kind of videos? Sometimes I actually clean, but it's like, I don't know. They're addictive. They Some of them are very calming and relaxing, and that's the ones that you just sit back and watch. And then you have the others that, you know, just make you want to get up and move around and do things too. Whatever. Whatever brings you joy, whatever suits your fancy. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, how do they say it? Subscribe, like, and comment. Mike's son knows how to say this better than I do. He's always practicing his YouTube script. But again, I appreciate you coming and checking out my first video. Don't forget to do all those lovely things of rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.